here and uh, today we've been asked to do five minutes of stand-up and it's going to be really hard for me, so you need to bear with me. My ex-girlfriend said that we could usually only last two or three. <laughs> I told that joke a few times but never realised how awkward it was until I told it the other day at a family party with my grandma sitting in the second row. And she looked at me with this horrified face and I said, don't worry Gran, it's just a joke, I'm really good at sex. <laughs> You can probably tell if you look very carefully, you a bit close. You can probably tell from the colour of my skin that I uh, study medicine. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was in a relatively long term relationship that ended recently, and my friend said to me, Kieran, you're really lucky because you work in a hospital. You must get to meet girls all the time. No, I really don't. And this led to a story which I'm going to share with you today the story of the closest I've ever been to picking up a girl in a hospital. I'll set the scene. It was a phlebotomy clinic, that's a fancy word for saying that I was taking blood that morning. And in walks an elderly lady, I'd say mid to late 80s, and she comes in and the nurse says, Is it okay if our medical student Kieran takes your blood today? She looks me right in the eyes and says, I wouldn't mind a little prick from a doctor, young man. <laughs> I've got a little prick, I thought in my head. Obviously, that's a weird opinion, or something you really shouldn't vocalise. I did, in fact, say something even fucking weirder. <laughs> I said possibly the most creepy and inappropriate thing I could have ever said to this poor elderly woman standing before me. I was preparing her to rage, and she caught me off guard. And I turned, and I looked at her in a delicate, fragile old eyes. Just like and I said in the creepiest imaginable voice, Brace yourself, I'm not very good at getting it in. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's how I almost got kicked off my course. <laughs>